So if you're just getting into lead guitar and you're wanting to learn some solos, this is gonna be one of the very best you could possibly learn. It is the first solo I ever learned front to back. Of course, it is the intro or first solo in Fairies Wear Boots by Black Sabbath. So if that sounds good, you're gonna to wanna to stick around because we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve Reese here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we help you master doom metal guitar tone, technique, and theory through the process of learning your favorite songs and riffs. So if that sounds good to you, please remember to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. All right, so as I mentioned, if you're just getting into lead guitar, this is a great place to start. Very short and sweet, but memorable and really instructive and fun to play. So all it requires is a guitar in standard tuning, which I'm using today. As always, I've got a complete transcription and tablature for this and every other lesson on the channel in, on guitar and bass over at patreon.com slash does it doom. I'll have a link below this video if you wanna check it out, but we're gonna start this one out with a quick demo, then we're gonna come back and break it down lick by lick. Check it. All right, so once again, we're in standard tuning. Fairies Wear Boots is a super interesting song in that it modulates keys throughout. It starts in G minor, modulates up to A minor, then to B minor, then to E minor, before finally modulating to C sharp minor for the solo. But we're gonna start with that little riff in E minor that goes like this. So as you can see, we are rooted here on the E note at the 12th fret on the sixth string, we've got a root, a flat seventh, and then a perfect fifth and a perfect fourth. And we're sliding down to that, basically to the first fret. And then we modulate up to the key of C sharp chromatically before launching into the solo, so. And that's gonna take us to the first lick of the solo. Now, once again, the solo is played in the first position of the C sharp minor pentatonic scale, which looks like this. So we've got 9, 12, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 12, 9-12. So we're gonna break this thing up into six licks. I'm gonna include the tail end of that previous riff in lick one, which goes like this. Throughout, we're gonna be using that tight and fast Iomi style vibrato. Again, just all minor pentatonic notes here. We're taking that flat seventh interval and bending it up to the root, applying some vibrato, and releasing it. We've got this perfect fourth bending up to that perfect fifth. Again, we're kind of bending into what I call the Albert King box or the first upper extension. We're never hitting these notes directly, but we are bending up to them throughout. They are still in that C sharp minor pentatonic scale. Lick two. So 
So, so far... <laughs> Lick three. We're using this classic blues move throughout where we bend this perfect fourth up to this perfect fifth and then hit the perfect fifth and the root. So very classic, very typical of any blues and rock solo. Playing the whole thing. If you're getting some value out of this lesson, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Lick four. So the whole thing. Lick five. We got a bend, release, hammer on, pull off. So from the top, the first five licks. So then the final lick, lick six. Ending with a bunch of vibrato on the minor third just sounds great. Then again, we're back to that first riff in E. So let's play the whole thing from the top. Now slowly. final time. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord tier producers. For more content just like this, you can click the YouTube card directly below me. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.